This video is intended for IT administrators on how to set up a custom background and optionally a custom logo on the 8875. We're going to start with some of the features and user interactions and then the step-by-step -step process. At a high level, the administrator can upload one or more custom wallpapers and allow the end user to choose from them. The end user can also choose a light or dark theme. Alternatively, the administrator can push one custom image to the wallpaper of the phone and then decide whether or not the end user is able to change it. So one of the main differences between the 8875 and the other 8800 series is that you must use a list.xml file. This is a hard requirement. And then you must also upload your PNG files to this directory. That's also a requirement. Step one is to upload our PNG files into this directory as well as the list.xml that we'll talk about in just a second. Again, list.xml is required for custom wallpapers. If you want to use the logo, you can optionally specify that in the list.xml and then it will be pushed automatically to the desktop. This is the structure of the list.xml. At the top is the version control. In the middle, we have two custom wallpapers. And then at the bottom, we have the optional logo. Note that the thumbnail and the wallpaper are two different strings and they are required. For the wallpaper, PNG files are the only format accepted and it would be 1024 by 600. Low contrast is recommended. The thumbnail would also be PNG 180 by 100. The logo is optional, 380 by 250, and it will be automatically pushed if it's specified in the list.xml. And the logo with the transparent background is recommended so as not to obscure the wallpaper behind it. If you want to push a custom wallpaper to the phone background and have it be the default and prevent the end user from changing it, you would use the common phone profile and you would uncheck this box. You still need the list.xml. If the box in the common phone profile is checked and the end user is able to change the background, this is what they see in the left. And on the right, if that box is unchecked, that's what they see if they try to go into appearances. And if they are allowed to change the wallpaper, this is basically the workflow of what that looks like. The theme specifies whether the text is light or dark, and you can specify that in the list.xml or the end user can specify it. Thank you.